We're back today with some more SB19. I reacted to them for the first time, I think it was two weeks ago, and I got a very positive response, so thank you very much for that. That's what we're gonna be continuing to do today. We got Pablo, Justin, Ken, Josh, and Stell. Last website, we're going to Facebook. Hey! <laughs> I love Justin's energy. He's just so happy and, and smiley. And like I said in my last reaction, he seemed very engaged. Although he was on the quieter side, he still seemed very sort of present and engaged in the conversation. Just because he's not saying anything doesn't mean he's not part of the sort of social interaction. And he just gives off a really friendly, positive kind of vibe. Looks like a happy guy, and he's he's comfortable being the quieter guy. Yeah, you get to see kind of the goofy side here. These questions are pretty ridiculous, but they're funny. So that's cool just to see how they react. They, they all seem to be kind of reacting in jest and they're having fun with it. And I think that's a sign that they don't seem to take themselves too seriously here. You know, I commented earlier that I thought Pablo was the leader and it turns out he is. And he, he really gives sort of like a sense of maturity and um, just being really grounded. But like I said about, uh, about Ken, like he's just right in there. He just feels so loose with his friends. You know, a lot of people were saying, you got to check out earlier interviews. He's totally quiet and, and maybe he is more on the introverted side. Maybe he is a little bit quieter, but that doesn't necessarily mean he's not socially comfortable. So that's cool. Like you heard Justin there, right? He's just like, yeah, Pablo does really like sour food, right? <laughs> I think that's an indication that these guys, Justin in particular, but I think these guys in general probably know each other really well. And more than that, you, know, you can just kind of see Justin being like a hype man in a sense, you know, just nothing but positive affirmations for his friends. It's great being around people who can, who you feel know you, and at the same time feel like they appreciate you. Spaghetti flavor or pancit flavor? Spaghetti. Daming pancit sa amin sa malabot. Ah, bagay, pwede na rin. Pag naging pusa ka, ano kakainin mo? Cat food o chicken? <laughs> chicken. Cat food. Pablo seems like, like I said, I was saying mature, but he also seems quite intelligent. And I think maybe part of his intelligence manifests through his sort of like wittiness just based on the fact that he likes these questions, which are, are very witty. They're, they're kind of funny and they're, they're full of puns. And maybe that actually is synonymous with his leader role or his like father role, you know, like dad jokes, dads like puns. That's, act, that's the stereotype at least. Also, Josh seems to got his arm wrapped around Stell over here too. So perhaps Josh is a little bit more demonstrative. Like he shows his affection through physical touch a little bit more. Maybe he's a little bit on the quieter side as well. He does seem like he's on the quieter side too. Bakit ang aeroplano may LED na lipad? Pero ang electric fan may LED din, hindi naman na lipad. Kasi may cover po. Tapos may screw siya sa back and sa front. So kahit umikot siya, hindi Depende. siya oh, lipad. Oh, pag sa'yo... Hindi sa amin eh, ko, lumipad eh. <laughs> pag naging ipis ka... Yeah, these boys just seem super at ease with each other, don't they? And what I like about it as well is, although each one of them is in the spotlight answering a specific question, uh, the guys in the back who aren't actually in the spotlight are, are listening to the question attentively and carefully. You know, like they're all involved in the activity. They all want to be involved in the activity. Anyways, that's sort of what I'm sensing. They just seem really just at ease with each other and they all want to be here. They all want to do this, you know, silly Q&A. It's not like, ah, this media obligation. So okay lang sa ipis ka, kakainin ka niya, mamatay ka. Ay, yun lang. Pag naghihiya ka ng kain, tapos kumain talaga, ano mararamdaman mo? Okay lang, kasi niyaya ako naman eh. Hindi po siya nagyayaya. Nahihiya ako. If I invited them to eat, it's okay to eat. 
Pablo chimes in. He never invites anyone to eat. Okay lang, kasi niyaya ako naman eh. Hindi po siya nagyayaya. See, Pablo's not scared, although he's joking, right? He's not scared, it doesn't seem like to call you out, right? And maybe that's what makes him a good leader in a sense. Like he's not afraid to kind of be direct. And I know he was being sarcastic there and I know he was joking, but still, like you couldn't see Justin saying that. I couldn't see Justin saying that. It almost feels like Pablo's like a big brother to uh, Justin. Justin's too shy to ask anyone and, and Pablo's not shy. Maybe Pablo's, you know, a little bit in between introverted and extroverted, but he's certainly not shy. Perhaps that's a theme in the relationship between him and Justin is him trying to like get Justin out of his shell. Maybe instill like a little bit of extra directness or confidence in a sense in Justin. I wonder. Required ba ang lumpiang Shanghai sa birthday? Pili ko. Kasi para may mabring home yung mga ano, mga pupunta doon. Oh. <laughs> right? Like, Ken's got those rap mannerisms. You know what I mean? He's got those like hip hop mannerisms. Oh. There's that uh, kind of like bravado in him out of all the guys, maybe Pablo as well. But you see it with Ken, you know, Ken, Ken has that swag. You can see it by the way he communicates. And what was I going to say about Josh? I was going to say that, you know, he listens really well too. These guys are all, I got to say, I'm really impressed with the way they, they listen to each other. I can almost say with, with certainty that these guys communicate well with each other, just by the way they listen. <laughs> <laughs> See again with these questions, notice that Pablo is the first one to laugh. <laughs> I was watching who was going to react first, right? He's, I think he appreciates wit. I think that's like part of his intelligence, like I said. I think he really appreciates it. It's fun to see these guys just laugh and have a good time. I, I can see why people are drawn to them. You know, it's fun watching people who are at ease, you know what I mean? Especially people who are at ease on camera. Kind of makes it easier to watch and it makes it easier to connect with them in a way because you sense that they don't have a barrier. In a way, you know, Stell seems to be like taking these questions the most seriously. And I think I kind of alluded to this last time in my reaction, like he wants to have the right answer. He wants to get things right. So I think although the other guys are kind of just having fun with it and not taking it too seriously, I think Stell, like in a way, although he's having fun, he, he wants to answer correctly. So maybe that's indicative of his personality a little bit. Like I said before, he likes to speak. He likes to voice his opinion. Maybe he likes to also just like do and say the right thing. Like he wants to be thorough in his response. Imagine your nose or teeth. That's funny. <laughs> Stell's funny, man. Stell is funny. That was a good answer, right? He, he, so he, 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 think, he seems to think through things. Like I said, he's taking this exercise, see, although he's having fun with it, and he's being funny about it, and he's got a really good humor about it, he's taking the exercise seriously. Yeah, he, he's a thinker. He, he, he analyzes things, he, and he likes to share his analysis. And I think that makes him not only extroverted, but as a result, that's part of what makes him so entertaining and, and fun to listen to, right? He shares his thought process with us. He shares an anal his analysis with us. It doesn't just live in his head. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm not going to guess where your minds went when they said, how often do you, you know, where a lot of people's minds went, goes without saying. I don't need to say it. Every night, I'm going 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 to say it. So, in the morning, I'm going to say it. 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 And it seems... <laughs> These guys are good, man. These guys are good. If everyone's on the same page as the analogy that they're using, I think that's really funny. Very quick. Very quick. We got to give these guys props. Okay, so they'll take it to those subjects. That's interesting for a, you know, a popular 
boy band, however you want to refer to them as. Interesting that they'll take it there. That's fun. You know, it seems like these guys might even have some like looser boundaries in a way than some of the Korean groups that I've reacted to. They'll joke about certain subjects that other groups wouldn't necessarily joke about. It seems like uh, Pablo and Stell are kind of the leaders of the witty banter. You know, they, they kind of really thrive and, and excel when it comes to the wittiness. Oh, that's good. That is good. <laughs> Pablo pointing to uh, Stell being like, all right, that's enough. Right? That's enough now. Alright. <laughs> so perhaps that's part of Pablo's role. It's like, he can have fun. He can be loose with the guys, but he knows when the line needs to be drawn. And perhaps you kind of need a Pablo in the group to draw that line confidently. He seems like the guy that would draw it confidently. Like, Stell would just go on and on and on until all of them were cancelled. Justin would be too nice to say anything. Ken would just be going with the flow, you know, and Josh would just sort of be doing the same as Ken and Justin in a sense, maybe a combination of the two. So you need Pablo to be like, all right, all right, all right. I liked it, but we got to stop. Don't tell me, papatasin mo yung joke na anong subject mo. Kung anime character ka, ano outfit mo good for 100 episodes? Pang assassin. Mga, mga nakatakip mo ka, pang ninja ninja. Yeah, I think Ken's just chill and cool, man. Like, I don't know if he feels like he needs to say anything. I think that's part of his comfort with himself is he doesn't feel the need to, like, inflate. He doesn't feel the need to say more than needs to be said from his perspective. Because he's, he's, he's cool with himself. It's not like he's silent or anything. Like, he has stuff to say. He has things to contribute. But again, I think that's part of where I feel his kind of coolness comes from. Is it doesn't feel like he feels the need to speak. Yeah, and these guys, again, another sign of their closeness is their ability to not only make fun of each other, but their ability to laugh at themselves because of the jokes that are being delivered toward them. Like Stell just threw a joke at the guys, you know, our rappers are lazy and they all cracked up. So again, that's the sign of their, their comfort and their rapport, their ability to give and receive jokes. Stell kind of, um, you know, he's the antagonizer, it seems like. And he does it and he gets away with it because he's got this big personality and, and, and he's got like a real humor about it and sarcasm about it when he does. Because he can kind of get into character still, right? So he can kind of get into like an arrogant character if he wanted to. And it's funny because we know he's playing a character. Give me a beat, you know, like... Oh, okay. give, me a, give me a beat. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's a character. He can get into character. Yes, there's his real self, but, you know, like I said, he's a performer, so he can take on different kind of personalities almost at different times, it feels like. <laughs> Man, that was a fun, fun video, guys. I'm glad I checked out more SB19. Right now, I'm going to check out their Wish Bus performances. There's two I have lined up here, Gento and Bazinga. So I'm going to check those out right now. If you want to watch my full uncut reaction and analysis to the interview we just watched, plus my reaction to their two live performances on Wish Bus, you can go straight to my Patreon page. I've included the link in my description below. Other than that, I appreciate you being here, guys. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you soon. Peace.